Welcome to Eclinic. In this video, we're going to show you how to bleed the brake uh, brake fluid on a vehicle. Uh, now, this can be helpful if you feel like the brake pedal is very soft. Um, I wouldn't press it and spongy. That's an indication that you might have air in the brake lines. Uh, also, like if let's say you replace a brake hose, you're going to have air in that section. So you need to uh, bleed the uh, brake, brake fluid. So uh, also, if you're looking to uh, replace flush the whole system you can use this method now there is tools that will help you uh, go through this process faster uh, we're not going to use any tools in this case um, so there's different tools that you can pressurize the brake fluid up here and it helps you push it through the lines uh, faster or there's tools that at the bleed valve at the brake out where you basically they'll uh, suction they'll they'll pull the fluid out but uh, we're not using any of those tools you can if you want to go faster, but it's not necessary. So what you're going to do, you're going to start here by removing the brake fluid um, reservoir cap. Look at the top, it'll say what kind of brake fluid your vehicle uses. It might say dot three, dot four, dot five. Use whatever that is and don't use brake fluid from an open container. You need to use uh, brand new uh, brake fluid. And what, what you're going to do is you're going to start with the brake caliper that's farthest from this. And of course it's going to be that uh, right rear so we're going to start with that we're going to put the brake fluid on that and then we're going to go to the second furthest which is going to be the rear um, left so rear on the driver side and then we're going to come to this uh, front right front passenger side we're going to put the brake fluid there and then you're going to come to this front left so what you're going to do is you're going to connect the hose and we're going to do that show you that in a minute um, let's go take a look at it so what we're going to do here, we have the bleeder valve right here, it has this uh, plastic cover to protect it from dust, you just pull that off, um, rubber cover here, but uh, then you'll need a, a clear hose and put that into a container and you connect it right there. I like to put my wrench in first, it makes it easier, these bleed valves are usually either 8, 10 or 11 millimeter so every car is a little different so what we're gonna do here someone you need a second person to start the vehicle and then press the brakes a few times and keep it pressed then once they keep it pressed you loosen this up let some brake fluid come out and you're probably gonna see some bubbles air bubbles coming out as well and then tighten it then they need to pump the brakes a few more times and then keep it pressed again while they keep it pressed you loosen this up again and then tighten it and then they repeat the procedure and this will keep if you keep doing that you're gonna get uh, brake fluid out of this line uh, you can if you're just trying to get the air out you can do that procedure until you just see brake fluid no more air bubbles coming through if you're flushing the whole system you have to keep doing that until you see uh, break, new brake fluid coming through so um, let's have um, someone start the vehicle and then press that brake pedal a few times and keep it pressed Then I tighten that again. Okay, repeat. Somebody, the helper is now pressing that brake pedal again. And then we're gonna loosen, and they're keeping it pressed. We're gonna loosen this. And then we're gonna tighten that again. And now they have to repeat that procedure one more time. Let's repeat it again. Okay, I'll keep it pressed. So I'm gonna come here, get that loose. You can see more brake fluid is getting pushed out. Then we're gonna tighten that again. And as you, now we're getting only, this is uh, trying to return back, the air trying to come back, but we're only getting um, brake fluid. We're not getting any more uh, air bubbles coming through that. So we're gonna disconnect this. And since it looks like we don't have any more air in this one, brake caliper or line, we're gonna go to the next uh, rear, left, the rear driver side. All right. All right, again, we connect the hose. Before somebody 
before you get this loose, have somebody press that brake pedal a few times and keep it pressed in the last step. All right, pressed? Okay. Now you can see air coming out right there. Now you tighten this. Now ask them, they're keeping it pressed this whole time. Now you can ask them again to pump that a few times. Can you pump the brake pedal a few more times and then keep it pressed? All right, now they're keeping it pressed. Pressed? And then tighten that again. Let's repeat it one more time. All right, uh, so you wanna make sure you check that brake fluid reservoir. You don't wanna to go too, too low on that. So top that off. All right, we tighten on that. Let's repeat that one more time. So we're tight here. They need to press that brake pedal and keep it pressed. Pressed? Yeah, pressed. All right, let's go ahead and then tighten that. And then we, oh, we got some air coming out right there. Quite a bit of air. Look at that. And see how much air that's quite a bit of air coming uh, through there. Let's tighten this. Okay. Now we tighten that. And see there towards the end there weren't that many air bubbles coming through. So you want to do that maybe a couple more times. All right, let's repeat it one more time. Okay, so there's no more air bubbles coming through that, so we should be good. All right, make sure you're tight there. Check there's no brake fluid bleeding through that. And then let's go to the front passenger side. All right, so we are going to remove this rubber cap right here. And that needs to be replaced because it just didn't come off. You can see that it just stayed, half of it still stayed there. You can see that. So that needs to be replaced. It's just there to protect so dust doesn't go to it. But um, let's go let's connect that. All right. All right, press it and hold, please. Okay. You can see brake fluid coming through. So we tighten that. Let's repeat it. Now tighten that. Now let's let's repeat it again. All right, I'm gonna tighten that while they hold the brake pedal. As you can see, there's no more air bubbles coming from this line. So let's go do the front driver's side. All right, so I'm going to remove that. The rubber going on right there. Put the wrench and reconnect this. And now let's get that loose and then tighten it. All right, let's repeat it one more time, please. So pressing it a couple of times, and I have to keep that brake pedal pressed. Okay, let's repeat it one more time. Getting pushed out. I'm gonna tighten that. All right. Now 
and then move that and put the this on top. And that needs to be there we go. So that's it. Um that's how you do the air out of brake caliper. Thanks for watching.